Goldie here, and today we're looking at the newest character in WWE Champions, and it's about flipping time. Uh, Jeff Norton, you asked, Scopely listened. We finally got Randy Savage, the Macho Man, Hall of Fame. About time. Another one of these S plus tier. Again, I have feelings about that, but whatever. Let's take a look. He is a chaotic acrobat. Trainer ability. We are going to see the continuation of the submission um, trainers. For powerhouses, reduce opponent's submission turns by 10. Submission turns can't be reduced below zero. No more Nia Jax glitch. She wasn't good to begin with. Uh, link bonus. Any color moves start with four move points for the Hall of Fame. He does have two gears. That increase the multi-gem strength. For this preview, I will not be equipping them. Just showing that they're completely locked. Look at the shine on that, though. Sheesh. And the tassels do the thing! Oh, DJ's gonna be so happy. Look at them tassels. Made the statue out of gold and then added paper. Uh, yeet my dogs. Anyways, I got three builds for you. He's really straightforward and he's going to hit hard with or without gears. First build we're going to look at is available at four star. It is the finisher with double yellow. His finisher, the diving elbow drop 10 MP deal 246,036 damage and choose a seven by three area to swap into yellow gems. Yellow one is the running bionic elbow 6 MP Deal 100,361 damage and make the four bottom rows into multiply gems of strength three. And yellow two, the diving double axe handle, 6 MP as well. Deal 99,144 damage and choose a seven by one area to swap into blue gems. The pin bar will not move. Entourage for this, we're going to go with Kofi for yellow MP. Uh, Showboat Cena, I do have him 16k for the plus 2 and for the 45% yellow gem damage. One in doubt, Santa Hogan. Uh, maybe the blue finisher coach if you have them. And then Striker Braun, who I don't have maxed out yet, but he will add 15% to our yellow gems for the belts. We are going full fury with a blue percent. Ignore the all heart plate. Um, I feel like his builds don't really need a plate until the 6-star one, so that's just going to be chilling until we hit the 6-star move. It's not going to have any effect on what we run right now anyways. And the challenge note is still open. So, 6-star uh, showdown between the Macho Man and the Hogan. And what do we say around these parts? Fuck the Hogan. Oh, we turbo again, huh? My bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. Alright. Running Bionic Elbow. Bottom four rows. And then the Diving Double Axe Handle. Choose a 7x1 to swap to blue. The pin bar will not move. Conveniently enough. We can do that. Shit, we could cycle this a few times. Maybe a pyro plate. When I throw the gears on, I'll toss a pyro plate on there. Because that could be... It won't affect the finisher, but it'll affect this move where you're just spamming this over and over and not moving the pin bar. With our max tour perks, we're... Don't... That, got, that, uh, whatever. We got him next time, champ. But with the max tour perks, you only need one three match of yellow, so if you don't get a cascade, you could probably do a little something something with the damage here. Again, stay tuned for the gears. But anyways, that's the method to get everything loaded. You can take a swipe. And then the finisher is a 7 by 3 so you get the bottom three rows of the board. Uh, 
and two and a quarter mil. Gonna kick out because, you know, six star. We don't have him under that threshold yet. Let him do his thing. We should kick out no problem. And with it being a 10 MP finisher, throwing this over the row of multiply gems means even though you're only putting out seven, you're good. I know that's probably super obvious for some people, but in the off chance, it's not. Let's point that out, that it'll load everything up a little more. Let's do that so we can get our multi gems out. And then I'm going to do that so we can latch onto those two as well, because why not? And that should be ballgame. With a minimal cascade, 2.38. Again, no gears, no Matt Hardy. We do have Striker Brawn, 15%. But fairly straightforward. Let's take a look at the five-star build, which is a variation. Five-star build is going to bring in the other two blue moves, which are both reversal moves. So again, a trend we're seeing continue. Uh, blue two, too cold to hold. Uh, couldn't be me up here in Winnipeg. Five MP, this move can only be used while pinned. Deal 389,998 damage and make 40 random gems into snowfall gems, which will modify all gems below it into blue gems when broken by you. Blue three, too hot to handle. Couldn't be me living up here in Winnipeg. Uh, five MP, this move can also only be used while pinned. Deal 309,462 damage and deal 845,462 bleed damage to your opponent for three turns. We're going to run that alongside the diving double axe handle, get everything loaded up. Entourage for this, Kofi for the yellow MP. We're bringing in Seth for the 66%. We're bringing in Kyrie for the 25. So this bleed's hitting 1.6 mil for three turns. That's 4.8 mil in total. And we're going to use Hall of Fame Honky Tonk Man for 20% more damage to our blue moves. I do have Googer. Some people be getting salty. So I won't use them. Um, and as you can see, I'm metal bit poor. So would love to have switched over to a takedown set. Or even like a half takedown set. But my takedown medals when it comes to blue are booty. And not the good kind. So we're going to stick with the Fury and the... Um, the 133% to the blues, and we're going to play possum the entire time. We're just going to swipe until he pins us. So we can do this. Pin bar won't move. We luckily cascaded into a pin. And now we sit and wait. Now we sit and wait. Do your worst, Hogan. All right. Step one. 917,000 with the metal and all of aim unky tonk man. Step two, 1.6 mil bleed, 728,000 move damage. That'll apply once we kick out. Um, I don't want to break up a ton. While this is loaded and ready to go, I'm going to do this. So we can just get a bunch of gem damage. Oh god. Someone's letting the air out the tires. 603, all that applies. Here comes the bleed. He's going to bleed again. Hit the finisher. We'll hit him again. And it should be ball game. It's 
that should cover the... In oh no, it's just going to completely override everything? That's fine, whatever. Is that really the only map? I can do that. There we go. And then we can do this at the top of the board. And then we should be able to swipe. Not liking the board here. It's very ick. There we go. And then he should bleed out. Ta-da! We did it! So another one of those defensive, you better not pin me, but ah, ah. Please, please fix that, Scopely. Oh my god. Um, another one of those defensive, you better not pin me builds, which I can't stand using on offense, but on a showdown defense or in a feud, if you don't plan on using the guy, piss off your opponent, by all means. Uh, let's go take a look at the six star build. Six star build is triple purple, so all the purple moves purple. One is the chokehold six MP submission. Generate 24 random submission gems and do 184,131 damage for three turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength three. Purple 2, the head pull hangman, might be one of the best move animations in the game. 6 MP as well. Deal 119,109 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems. That will increase the strength of your multiply gems by 2 on every countdown turn and make 10 multiply gems into purple gems at the end of the countdown. And purple 3, the 6 star move is the Lariat Takedown, 7 MP. Deal 264,384 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for one turn. Entourage for this, Woods for purple MP. The Undisputed Future, Seth, for 35% more damage to purple gems. Showboat Lacey for 20% and when in doubt, Santa Hogan. And this is where the all heart plate is going to come into play. We're bringing in a purple percent for the uh, for the moves. And then the all heart plate, whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So 38k before gem reduction on the purples. We've got it higher than our blue gem damage, which is our primary, so... Should smack. I feel like this could be another turn, but regardless, let's... Again, this is baseline. No mat, no mem, no gears. So, let's see how this looks. So, you want to put the Juggernauts out first. And then, I could stun him now. But I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. Let's get the submission gems out. I never checked my green gem base. Alright, try not to ruin everything. Good. Juggernaut gems, we're at time 7 because each juggernaut does a strength of 2. Now we're gonna stun him. Um, I don't wanna... Actually, I'll drop this. Because that'll... Well, we're not really attached to anything right now other than this. Yay. So this is why I think it should be a two-turn stun. Is because you won't give him an opportunity to swipe. Mind you, he left us a lot. So. We'll stun. We'll do this again. Should be able to stack because it's going to recycle itself. We have 46 and 328. Let's hit the sub again. We 
Please no bully. So, 61, 427, 671. I'm going to take that. All right. He didn't mess it up for us, so this should be a kaplop game over. Without a cascade. 6.3 mil. Again, no mat, no mem, no gears. That's baseline. I'm excited to run that back with the gears. That's going to be disgusting. Let's conclude. So that's our first look at Randy Savage Hall of Fame. Again, gears add multiply gem strength. We'll be doing a run it back, so stay tuned. He is a chaotic acrobat, trainer ability, reduces opponent submission turns by 10 for powerhouses. Gets the Hall of Fame link. Got the two gears. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. He's the second male Hall of Fame acro, which we desperately needed. We only had Brett, and Brett was good for a hot minute. But I think by default, Macho is better. Um, but also really strong. Again, we were showing just baseline damage output with very basic things. So if you have more beta, if you have mo beta, you can do mo beta. Uh, let me know the comment, what you think in the comments of this video. Stay tuned for the run it back. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe. All that good shit. Thank you for being a friend. Put it, 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 put it